I'm just waiting to draft day because I really it's, it's too much going on to think about it. So, I mean, it's been a great process. I'm just waiting for draft day to get on the team and start working. Matt Elam knows about hard work. He's a little undersized for a safety at five foot ten, so he's worked tirelessly to make up for it in other categories. He ran a 4.43 40-yard dash at the NFL Combine. He's also spent some time training at the cornerback position. You know, I've been doing that to, uh, so I can be able to cover better and be able to guard the receivers and tight end thing like this. I get my footwork ready so I can rely on my footwork more. Matt chose not to hire an agent leading up to the draft. Instead, he's relying on his brother, Abe, an NFL veteran, for insight on the process. He gave me agent advice. He gave me, I mean, he gave me the, 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 the training advice, things to work on to be better at the next level, just small things like that, just maturing things and a lot of, just a lot of small things we went over together. Someone else who has given Elam plenty of advice is Coach Will Muschamp. After the Sugar Bowl, Muschamp congratulated Elam and Sharif Floyd on their careers at UF, knowing that was the junior's final game in a Gator uniform. He challenged us all year, and he pushed us, and he wanted, he wanted that for us, so, I mean, it ended up happening, so we paid off. When he said, you did great, you had a great career, I just feel like it's time for you to take another level. Elam is ready for that next level, and all the hard work is about to pay off. I mean, I know it's going to be a lot of tears of joy and a lot of excitement. I'm just looking forward to it. Julie Quitner, GTN Sports.